feeling good about their standings. Moments ago, all access in the locker rooms as the coaches prepared their teams to kick. Takeaway chain is here. The takeaway chain is here. We're in building. The takeaway chain, right? Takeaway chain is here, defense. So we want to see you guys get some takeaways out here. Every possession, every possession, every possession. Hey man, have the time of your life. I got your back. You got my back. 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 I got your back. Let's go win this thing. You know what, Joey Galloway's got my back and I have his. Week four of the XFL concludes tonight in DC. Looking forward to tonight's game. Enjoy, we had talked about it a second ago. One of these teams has learned how to win. Vegas just can't seem to close it out because of it, they're 0-3. Yeah, and it's crazy. DC has been losing at halftime in all three of their games. Second half, found a way to win. Vegas on the other stretch, they've been winning at halftime in all three of their games, but they found a way to lose, including a game, including a game Last week that we had against yeah. Seattle, had a chance to win it, didn't figure it out. And that's the difference between a team at the top of the North in D.C. at 3-0 and and the team at the bottom of the North in Vegas in 0-3. It is a cliche to say teams have to learn how to win. Vegas has yet to do that. D.C. does it better than anyone in the league. Let's go down to Tiffany Black. Hey, guys, I'm with D.C. running back Abram Smith, and you and your dual-thread quarterbacks are paving the way and rushing in this league. What's it like to have those guys on your side? Uh, it's a great feeling. You know, you get a, a lot of the light off of you. Um, they're also, a, you know, a threat as well. Uh, so a lot of the linebackers, a lot of the defenses are also, like, you know, watching them as well as watching me. I'm um, sitting back there with myself and uh, Raquel, and, you know, uh, also having him along is, uh, is, a, is a blessing for me, you know, saying a benefit for me as well because he can get going, I can get going, and, then, you know, it's kind of hard to stop all of us. It's going to be tough for the Vipers. Eric is standing by with Vic Beasley. That's right, Tiff. Thank you very much. Former All-Pro Vic Beasley. Vic, you and I were just talking about this weather. How does that affect you as a defender that wants to get off the ball and rush the passer? Well, you know, I have to monitor when I get off, but I don't, I don't plan on holding back much in this game at all. <laughs> yeah, that's not in your DNA, man. Listen, this is a great opportunity for you guys. An undefeated team. You haven't figured it out in that win column yet. What do you need to do today to get in that win column? Offense, special teams, defense, be on one accord, and we get the victory. Easy enough. Matt, back to you, brother. Eric, Tiffany, thank you. Look forward to you guys throughout the evening. The betting trends for both of these teams. If you're looking to throw some money on it tonight, Vegas Pipers 1-1-1 one, one, and one against the spread. However, they are very good in the first half spread. D.C. defenders 3-0 and against the spread. Tonight, D.C. favored by 6. Joey Galloway point total 41 and a half. We know which way you're going there. Yeah, and I like the fact that they've hit the overs twice each team. I like the over. And by the way, live lines each quarter via Caesar Sportsbook. We'll continue to give you those throughout the evening as Vegas will receive the ball to start. DeAndre Torrey, you know the kickoff rule. If you don't, both teams lined up. Wait till the ball's caught. Torrey has done that. Take it across the 25. He'll get it to the 30-yard line. And that is where we will see Brett Hundley, who last week, 290 yards total offense, three touchdowns. He has this Vegas offense playing at a high level. Can they finish tonight? Hey, muddle, muddle. Let's go. Troy right off. 23 Italy read on Monday. Ready? Uh, right here. To the right. On the right. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, they bought a five, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Five, five, set up. Drop snap right out of the gate, and it looks as if DC's got a good chance to get it. They say they have it, and they do. Davin Bellamy. Yeah. How's that for a start for the home team? I was watching these guys work on the snap before the game. It's cold out here. It rained a little bit. The grass is going to be wet. You have to take care of the football. It is worth on, pointing man. out, Khalil McKenzie, the normal starting center, is not starting backwards. tonight. That's Donovan West, and there was just miscommunication. Brett Hundley couldn't hang on to it. Hey, 22, 22, 22. You see it's a low snap. And it looked like Hundley's, it, his feet were crossed. It's time to hit him low to the left. He couldn't adjust his feet and catch it. Bring out Jordan to Amu out of Ole Miss. Abram Smith in the backfield, the XFL's best rushing unit. First overall pick in the XFL draft and a gain of four for Smith. Trend left wide. 
Lady, 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 lady. Here we go, here we go. Hey, easy, easy. Roger, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, Roger. Ready, ready. Stack up. Stack formation, both sides. Smith again to Amu, who's going to keep it himself. Goes for the slide and a big hit by Marwin Evans, and we'll get a penalty flag on the play. After play was over, personal foul. Unnecessary roughness, defense. Penalty is half the distance to the goal. First down. Hell no, nah, no flag. Evans missed last week with the concussion, so that'll set up DC first and goal to go at the six. Tamu going to keep it again off the right side. He gets a good little carry on first down. Robert Windsor there on the tackle. So now we'll see Derek King for the first time tonight. They use him a lot, Joe, in their running formations. We've seen Tamu run a couple times in a row. But Derek King, Houston, Miami, he's more of the runner. Of the yeah, two. you remember him from college. A terrific athlete. Had a great year at Houston. Went over to Miami. We know when he comes in the game, there's a better chance of him making a play with his leg than it is throwing a ball. But he was three for three last week throwing, but he's a better athlete and a better runner. We asked Ta'amu if he likes to run. He kind of smirked at us and said, I mean, yeah, I'll do it. And he just did in the first couple of plays. There goes De'Aaron, shakes off a defender. Touchdown, defenders. Peter Tamoa Penu could not hang on. Four plays, 21 yards off the turnover. De'Aaron King and the defenders go up early. Now the conversion attempts to Amu back in. They'll go for two again. No hey, kicks right in this time. league. No, 22 shoot. I want ready. One point from the two, two points from the five, three points from the ten. Here we go, here we go. Ready, ready. There it go. Tamu to throw out of the backfield. Good job by Vegas. And that was Evans. He was a storyline in that first drive. Marwood Evans keeps the two-point conversion from no good. And again, Joey, Vegas, they start fast. They didn't tonight. They can't afford mistakes like this early in the game when they're trying to get that first win. Yeah, and unfortunately, I've been a part of a lot of losing seasons in playing football, and it feels like these are the kind of things that just happen in games. A fumbled snap to start your game. BC, who hasn't been a team that's got off the great starts, all of a sudden get this turnover, get a, get a lead early, which that's not the way they've been this season. Tiffany. With De'Aaron King, and I saw you just watching your own replay. When did you know you were free off that shake? I had to make one guy miss, and um, he, he slipped off of me. I cut it back. You know, O-line did a great job. Shout out to the defense. They got that touchdown for us. Great way to open the game. Thanks, De'Aaron. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think of De'Aaron King. We talked about what he did at Houston. He was a remarkable dual threat quarterback. Transferred to Miami. Came in right when the NIL era came in in college football. He was kind of the face of that because the second that deal went down, he was one of the first athletes in Miami to sign a deal in NIL. And now he's hoping to stay healthy and show teams what he can do as he gets D.C. on the board first. So there's DeAndre Torrey at his eight. This one to the 27-yard line, brought down by Athula Kelly. So can Brett Hundley, again, a new center tonight, go, Donovan West. This offense has been quick, Joey, out of the gate. They need to get something to get that confidence up. And they've been different with Hundley as their quarterback, been able to move the ball, been able to score hey, yeah, points, yeah. but they can't find a way to finish. Hey, now they've got off to a bad start. Can hey, their left, leadership left, in Hundley left, and their quarterback left. make enough plays now to bring this team back? 22 in Ireland, Reed. On one, ready? Yep. Let's go, let's go. On one. Five, five, seven, eight. Rod Smith in the backfield. Smith will get it on first down. And a nice job by Rod Smith. That is right up the gut. That's aggressive running. That's a gain of 14 in a right, first here we down. Go, guys. 
Let's go. Uh, let's go. Even right, 86 Lex. Even right, 86 Lex. Hey, 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 muddle, muddle, muddle. Hey, 86, 86 Lex. On one, ready? That is Ray hey, Sherman, offensive coordinator this week, taking over for Dwayne Taylor, who was relieved of his duties. Five, five, seven. Ray Sherman, a name NFL fans will know, out of the backfield to Smith. Another good job by Rod Smith, getting chunks two plays in a row, brought down by Kelly, flag on the play. What? 15. 15 off the clock all the way, spot good. 15. Personal foul, block below the waist. Offense, number 15. 15-yard 15 penalty, first down. The rule in this league is a little different. You have a five-yard box. You have five yards to go below the waist. After five yards, you can no longer go below the waist. You have to stay up high. Apparently, he went low. So, Dean, just making clear that Rod Smith, obviously the ball carrier, cannot block below the waist. That was 10, Matthew Sexton, correct? It was number 10, yeah. Once you go beyond five yards, either team can block below the waist. And that, that's what the officials call. Dean Blandino, VP of the Fish, will be with us throughout the night. Ball back to the 35-yard line. Hunley drops back. Try oh, that was nearly intercepted by Davin Bellamy, intended for John Lovett. You wonder if Huntley is a little banged up in this game. Normally, he, I think he did take off running. Last week, he took off running. You see he got a little hobbled in that game. And this is a time when he, when he stands in the pocket that long, normally he makes a play with his feet. That time hangs in there, almost throws an interception. No, no, this is run, run, run. Let's go. Hey, hey. Five, five, seven, eight. Second and 17, Martavis Bryant, bottom of the screen, trying to make a couple of defenders miss. Matt, you see the hand signal? I did. We went over time. this last week. We did. Yep. Yeah, yep. we the went hand down signal to the side, went down to the thigh. It was a run play, gave a little quick signal. Charlotte, sniper, two roll. Charlotte, sniper, two roll. Troy, right up. Hey, 61, 61, 787 class. Hold on, ready? A lot of flat, NFL flat. names here coaching tonight, including Blake Williams. Go to 20, go to 20, yep. Third and 13 for Vegas. Hunley with time. Hunley downfield, Bryant wide open in a great grab by Martavis Bryant. In the XFL, it's one foot, one part of the body, not two like the NFL. That is the college rule. It's a gain of 24 to Martavis first Martavis is 6'5". You remember him from the Pittsburgh Steelers. He hasn't done a lot in this offense so far this season. Expecting him to have a big year, that's a big catch. Last week, Joe, just one catch for six yards. LSU, 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 let's go. To give on first down to Love it. Love it off the left side. We've seen some success running the ball on this drive for Vegas. Stymied by the penalty, but that's going to be good for a first down. Kelly and Joseph combine on the tackle after a gain of 11. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Eagle right, 27 Poland. Hold on, ready? Guys, I think what you're seeing right here from this offense is really getting that balanced attack, a heavy dose of run and pass. Joey, I'm interested in what you said there with the hamstring. Talk with you know, Q early before the game. He said, ah, it's, it's lingering a little bit. That's love it again. Nothing going there. Good job by the defender's defense. And you mentioned last week, Hunley eight carries, 66 yards and a touchdown. But we saw him late in that game. He was limping quite a bit. Heard him late down the stretch when he had chances to scramble. Yeah, and it's chilly here in this game. And so it's chilly, it's raining, the grass is going to be wet. So if you got a hamstring, not great for a situation with a running quarterback in these kind of conditions. Fire, fire, set up. Ball of the 28. Reverse trickeration here out of Jeff Bedette. Bedette looking for a block, and he slips and falls. Michael Joseph there. Hey, can we give Hundley a dollar for the block attempt? Uh, uh, the hamstring. <laughs> we just talked about the hamstring. Not his greatest moment trying to get that block, but his guy didn't make the tackle. Okay. The play was set up by Sherman, the OC. Watch it there, Joe. Hey, even right, even right. Hey, yeah. he, he's thinking hamstring. Hammy is sore. That's nice of you. 
It's a third and five for Vegas. Hey. Fire, fire, sit down. Hundley downfield. Good job in between the defenders. And that is Brandon Dillon. That's two big third down conversions for Hundley in this offense. And Hundley has a nice arm when he, he cuts does. it loose. I mean, that ball got there in a split second. He's seen, look at that ball come through there between two defenders. A great catch on the back end, back end by Dillon. Fifth round pick of the Packers. Played with Arizona and the Cardinals. So first and goal for Vegas. Rod Smith tries to make a man miss. Brought down by Reggie Northrup. Good job by him. If, if Hunley's healthy right there, do you think he hangs on to that ball? Because the yes. end collapsed down. And I'm telling you, I really think that that hamstring is playing a part in his decision making in this game. Time for weather on the fives. Brought to you by Matt. 39 degrees here in D.C. 29 LSU ready? It is raining right now. Second straight week, you got me under 40 degrees. Look, I'm aware. Just be lucky there's no wind. There's Hundley with the keeper. You get a good look at that. Yeah, he's just timid. Running the balls, he gets a gain of three. And that takes away a lot of what he can do as good as anyone in this league, which is run the ball. Yeah, he, he has two fastballs. It, it's his arm and his feet. The ability to make plays running the ball, he doesn't have that second fastball in this game. But if he can continue to just make those couple yards, just hey, make them respect his ability away. to run, it'll open 51, up the pass. 51, 51. Pierce, Pierce. Pierce, Pierce. Yeah, yeah, corner. Let's go. Fire, fire tonight. Another third down for Vegas. Hunley scrambles. Hunley set. That is number six, Fidel Brown, in a loss of seven. So Vegas unable to convert. And this DC, DC defense is second in the league and sacking the quarterback with 10 on the season. And you can see it was a back out the backfield trying to run the corner. You heard Huntley telling you got the corner. That is a slow developing play. Not enough time against this DC front line that gets at the quarterback pretty good. Bailey Giffen on for the field goal attempt. Bailey Giffen wide right. And so Las Vegas moves down the field. They've got no points to show for it. DC remains on top, 6-0. I like to move it, move it. The XFL brought to you by Progressive, the right call to protect your home and car, and by Jimmy John's, the sandwich of sandwiches. I saw a, a commercial today for Jimmy John's. They've got this new sandwich that's out. I'm going to try it. Um, how about grab two? I would like to try it. You into like caprese type things? Like, I don't even know what that is. There you go, see? Here in our nation's capital, so DC leads 6 0. Again, a long drive, 13 plays, yeah, 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 yeah. 7 13 off the clock for Vegas, and nothing to show for it. Joey, the live line has moved to DC 11 My and a half. My goodness, that's a jump. Almost doubled. Started at six, we're up to 11 and a half. They've never seen DC start like this. <laughs> They're usually behind in the first half. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get set, get set. Ready, ready. Set, go. It's Amu in the ball at the 22. Quick shot out to the right. That's Lucky Jackson. Hey, right, right. Wide left, spread wide left. Tight three. Right, lady, right. lady, lady, lady. Tight lady. three, tight three, tight three. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Kais, offensive coordinator. Chris right, Dishman, right, right. defensive right, coordinator. We'll hear from them throughout the night. A quick shot to Lucky. Lucky's got some space. There goes Lucky past the 40. And a big gain for Lucky Jackson, 36 yards. Alex Ellis, the key block. Joey was their jersey on that key block. <laughs> There, there was a little bit of jersey, right, but right. more importantly, there's right, only go. one defender out here. I would go to it again. I would do it all night long until they put another guy out How wide. about lucky number 11? Which, by the way, for all the roulette players out there, 11, big number. All player. the grandmothers playing the roulette. <laughs> C.J. Avery on the tag, but here's Lucky again. But again, Vegas caught in a situation where they send a blitz, and they only have one defender out wide, and all you need is good block. 
Kennedy not able to make that play, but one good block by receiver, and it springs a big play. Here we go. And ready. Back up. 31 yard line, give up the middle. Abram Smith brought down by Marwood Evans. Again, he missed last week with a concussion. He's been active here in the first quarter, three tackles after a gain of three. And it, it's early in this game, but it feels like Vegas needs something to something. go in their favor. They just need to make a play to go in their favor to stay in this game. They've moved the ball, no points. Turn it over, DC scores. They got to get a stop here. Here we go. Ready, ready. There go. That falls incomplete, intended for Lucky Jackson, who's been busy on this drive. C.J. Avery on the cover. Is that more of a miss by Ta'amu? So now fourth and five. That on third down. They're going to trot out the kicker. Matt McCrane has made all of his field goals this year. Forty seven yard attempt. No good. And Joey, perhaps that the break Vegas needed. No points for DC. It remains six nothing. The XFL family mourns the loss of our teammate Ben Siegfried, who passed away Thursday evening. Ben, a student trainer from Lebanon Valley College, working with the XFL Athletic Training Department, was an intricate part of preparing our Battle Hawks and defenders for the season. His infectious smile in the locker room and passion for his work will be missed by all the players and staff who had the opportunity to work with him. Ben was only 22 years old. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family and friends. Of a development here, guys. We've been talking about it all night long. Doesn't look like Hunley's doing all, all that well. Luis Perez warming up, going in. The bowler is going to get his shot, man. It's going to be interesting to see how does this offense evolve with him at the QB. You mentioned a bowler, an accomplished bowler at that. 12, 300 games. 300 in the bowling, Joey, is perfect. Yeah, I've heard that. Perez started the season as the starter. Mr. Spring Football League. Perez over the middle, first shot. And how about that for a beginning play to Jeff Bedette? He was the big play guy last week. 12 catches, 180 yards. For the season, 12 catches, 180 yards, and three touchdowns. Last week, Bedette, four for 93 and a touchdown. Because Perez has played so far the season, you would expect new quarterback. You start off running the ball. No, not Vegas. Perez has played some football. Let's go down the field, make a big play, and it's a great throw. Love it in the backfield for Vegas. 20-yard gain. Ball to 41. That's going to be Love it. You saw him slip early, but Love it up the gut. And you got to love that. Big play again for Vegas. Kentrell Price there at a gain of 17. Slipped early, but then gets his feet under him. And Love it gets through there, gets to the second level. Nice tackle. Next time you wonder, will he jump over him with the intention because Safety going low. You've seen a lot of guys jumping guys now. Ball already at the 25. Love it again. Trying that same spot. Nothing going there. Good job by DC and Santos Ramirez. All right, here we go. Let's go trips right. 61 wide cross, snag flat. Trips right, 61 wide cross, snag flat. We should tell you for our access purposes, we had Brett Hundley starting quarterback mic'd up. We do not have Luis Perez backup quarterback mic'd up. So we'll bring you some play calls from Ray Sherman throughout the night. Second and 11 after a loss of one. Perez, quick shot out of the backfield. That's Bedette again. And a good job by Bedette making a couple of defenders miss and a gain of six. But that was big for Vegas last week with four catches, 93 yards. You can see out to the flat, two good blocks down the field once again. And Bedette, a smaller receiver slot guy, makes a nice play. There's Brett oh, Huntley. What we got, what we got? Mark Crosby, You know why we did that, though? Oh, no. Because then, yeah. We do have Bedette mic'd up. Play clock down to two. Vegas gets it off. Perez takes a shot. One on one coverage incomplete on third and four, intended for Martavis Bryant. 
those are the kind of plays you want to see Martavis Bryant make. He's 6'5", has some NFL experience, some really good years in Pittsburgh. Give him some chances, ball a little high in that situation. 50-50 balls should be Martavis Bryant, should have the advantage. As you can see, this one's a little out of his reach. Just give him a chance to make that play. So they're going to give Giffen another shot. 37-yard attempt has already missed. Giffen is good. <laughs> Six three. And he is Giffen yeah, Vegas. Little delayed their call first by points you there. Of the game. I was wondering what you were waiting on to say that one was good. Looked like he split one split one down the middle. You know what, and, candidly. And, but that's big for Vegas. They get a stop. They go down. They've been able to move the ball, but not get points on the last drive. This time, they actually get points on the board. Let's see if they can keep some momentum. Candidly, I love watching the fans, and I'm watching the stands to see what <laughs> reaction they give me. And it was, you're right, it was delayed like that guy, because I was enamored by whatever the hell it is he's wearing. Eric. Guys, what's interesting here on the sidelines, that's not an injury uh, switch there. They're, they're thinking it's a performance thing. We've got to get this th deal going, get some juice in the offense. It works. They get points. We'll be interesting to follow all night long. That's, that's interesting because Hundley led him right down the field and, and given missed the yeah, field goal. Dwayne Taylor not being here. I, I think that when you look at Vegas situation, Dwayne Taylor not here as the offensive coordinator. He's been there the first three games. The center McKenzie out of this game. They got a lot of moving parts. Jacquez Ezard back to receive the kick. And he takes it just shy of the 30 yard line. Don't miss any of the XFL week five Thursday night. Houston takes on Seattle, 10.30 Eastern ESPN. Then Saturday night, we're doing it on FX. The defenders face St. Louis Battlehawks. That's a big one in the North Division. And then finally, Sunday, Arlington Renegades. The Brahmas, 10 p.m. Eastern, ESPN 2, all four games. There's a nightcap in Vegas, 10 p.m. Eastern. Going to be a fun one. It's already next week the halfway points of the XFL season. I mentioned a big one next week. Look at that North Division between the defenders and Battle Hawks, who already got the win today. Quick shot over the middle by Ta'amu. Lucky Jackson has been big in this first quarter, brought down by Keelan Kennedy. Yeah, and this is the second time these two teams have played. And we mentioned Vegas was ahead in that game at the half. DC behind. DC found a way to come back and win. This is their second time playing. We're getting to that part of the season where teams are now seeing each other for that second time. 18 to 6. DC won that meeting in week two. Quick shot to Alex Ellis, and that'll be a first right, down right. for the defenders. We approach the end of the first quarter, see if DC gets a playoff. Here we go, here we go. Hey, easy, 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 easy. easy. They're gonna let the clock go down. Hey, yo. So end of the first quarter, D.C. struck first off a turnover and capitalized, and then it's been Giffen in the field goal. Right now, good one in D.C., 6-3, home team on top. That's a base a part of a systematic learning. Yeah, yeah. But then you can be like, as a quarterback, you can still say, oh, sometimes that is the one I want. Even though that's not my read, that's the one I want. Welcome back. Start of the second quarter here in D.C. You heard Rob Woodson talking to his quarterback, Brett Hundley. You heard Eric McClain come on a report that it was performance-based to go to Perez. That was a little bit of an indication of the conversations they were having. But for now, D.C. with the ball to Amu at quarterback, right up the gut to Abram Smith. And a gain of three brought down by Vic Beasley. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Hey, 16, 16, 16 Gucci. Fire, fire. Ready, ready. There it goes. So second and seven again. Smith has the outside, and Smith's going to have a first down and a nice run there on second and seven is Marwin Evans. Flex, flex, right, queen. Flex, right, queen. Flex, right, queen. Z, jet, Z, jet. 81, 81, 81, 81, 81, 81, 81 F 81. wheel, 81 F wheel. Get the wheel. 
Ethan, you're yeah, kicking yeah. out like a, like a boss. Here we go, here we go. Ready, ready. There go. See if he finds Ryquell out of the backfield on the wheel. Good job by Ta'amu. Had the whole right side open. And Joey, was that the right read? Because the wheel was going to be the guy he was looking yeah, for. Yeah, he had a lot of a little pressure coming his way. He did get the wheel. I think it's interesting uh, when you listen to these guys and these quarterbacks talk, the amount of times you hear them tell the running back what route they have. Because running backs have so much to do, whether it's protection, whether it's running the ball, whether it's hitting certain Ready. holes. So quarterbacks a lot of times will tell the running back what his assignment is to make sure he has it down. Second and two, that's going to be a first down for Josh Hammonds down to Eric. Coach, you guys made a quarterback change. Is it health? Is it performance? What went into that change on that drive? Well, he went down, and I'm not sure he's getting checked out, so I don't know, but put Luis in, and Luis did a very good job taking the team down the field. How does that affect your play calling with a different quarterback? Don't affect it. Don't affect it. Just call the plays, and they got to execute. Appreciate you, Coach. So you see Hundley to the left. Back turn, hoodie on, appears to be done for now to Amu. Oh, what a good job by Vegas' defense. Vic okay. Beasley, the 2016 All-Pro in a loss of seven. That's, that, we saw that out of him in the NFL, Joe. Yeah, we expected Beasley to be one of those named guys that you recognize that makes a lot of big plays, still trying to get going for this Vegas defense. Here we go, here we go. Ready, ready. There go. Ta'amu looks left over the middle of the field. What a strike. Perfect ball to Chris Blair. A player he told us can win the outside, can win the inside. That a good example of it, a gain of 18. Eight right, eight right, eight right. 22, 22. Lady, 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 lady. Lady, lady. And Vegas is going to have to use a timeout. So a good start to the quarter for DC up 6-3. Vegas going to take their first time out to Amu on the money to Blair. We'll step aside, come back after this. Eric McLean. He was slapping himself. Joey, come on, man. Look this, at this, this guy. This guy was an offensive lineman. What line a before. legend. <laughs> Look, McLean got on two coats and a hat. Why was he I, slapping himself? I have on himself? gloves, too, but I was too silly to forget him. <laughs> so, Unbelievable. So, the I'll Eric King at quarterback, he scored the first touchdown. Abram Smith in the backfield. Ball at the three. Big. Eric Smith, or De'Eric King rather, kept it. <laughs> That's what he's thinking. He got hit so <laughs> far. He's like, what's my name? Roberts and Talmoa Penu on the tackle in a loss of three. Every now and then those defenders guess right between the quarterback and the running yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Smith, would, <laughs> Smith would have walked in the end zone. De'Eric King, not so much. He's like, kept it, paid for it. So second and goal. Abram out of the backfield, 10th play of the drive. Abram Smith out of the backfield. Can he make a man miss? Abram Smith held short of the goal line, tackled by DJ Calhoun. And so now third and goal. And Abram Smith is 216 pounds. Remember in 2021 at Baylor, rushed for over 1,600 yards, had a big season. Now you see him making plays in the XFL. Nice play to keep him out. Yeah, give it to four here, and look at this. Yeah. He learned. He met's first overall pick in the XFL draft. Abram Smith, a quality player out of Baylor, in motion again. De'Eric's going to keep it again. De'Eric King is going to score again. Missed tackle by Maximilian Roberts. Middle. Touchdown number two for De'Eric King. This is the second time we've seen him get out of a tackle. He's 5'9", 196, low center of gravity. You can see the strength in his legs. That's the second touchdown he's run in after breaking a tackle. D.C. will go for two. Guys, this is something we saw him do at Miami time and time again. Matt, you bring up the Houston deal, but the things that he was able to do for the Hurricanes with his legs, man, he's such a dynamic player and reads those zone read perfectly. 
to ready, Amu ready. back for the two-point conversion. To Amu, left side into the end zone. It is caught. Chris Blair, two-point conversion. Oh. Good. Scoring drive, 11 plays, 72 yards. And, and Joey, I'm a guy that likes to point out game trends. Yep. I am not going to make it a coincidence that our guy at the 50 yard line wasn't who we showed prior to the touchdown. Here we go. Derrick King, once again, that strength in his legs for a guy his size is pretty incredible, and his ability to break tackles and to make guys miss. Tiffany. Hey guys, I'm with De'Ara King and Jordan Dayamu, and Jordan, you're just patting your buddy on the back here. Yeah. What was it like to help put them in position to score and watch your guy get in the end zone? You know, I said before, you know, we're both leaders. We're both going to go on this field. Whenever our, our opportunity or number is going to call, we're going to go and drive the field and lead the offense, and that's what we both did. We scored. That's all that matters. Uh, next play. And what's it like for you working with this guy? It's great, man. I mean, he's a great player. Um, I think we feed off each other really, really well, and the offense runs good for both of us in it, so we got to keep going keep scoring. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so Torrey takes it past the 30 to the 35-yard line. That's where Vegas will start with the ball. Now to our top story. The D.C. Beer Snake. Controversy week one, or whenever they played here the first time around. Last week when the Beer Snake was given full go, Joey, the thing grew. Yeah, and I love that's our top story. The Beer Snake has been absolutely amazing, and we showed up looking for the beer snake and it started off with just a couple cups and uh, here we're on the second quarter and they're getting after stormy bonatoni reported last week 1240 cups by halftime that means 20,000 ounces consumed as they collect them all the way through that's the fine work of these fine fans in dc the beer snake in dc was a friday night at arizona state but that big play all right, so look, look at the modest start of the snake. You know, shows up, grabs a couple, says thank you. Goes back to his seat. <laughs> you know, I should have, we should have gotten beer prices here just to see how much money that'd be to consume. There it goes. Ball spotted just shy of the 50. It's Rod Smith up the middle, and a gain of two. Reggie Northrup on the tackle. Northrop out of Florida State. He's had a really good season for D.C. He's an MMA fighter. We should have Matt Clay on the sideline, see if that's true. Here comes the pressure. Perez, good job getting it off. And great coverage intended for Sinclair Sweeting. Michael Joseph right there. Michael Joseph sat down on this thinking, okay, if I can make a break on this and make a big play, this D.C. defense are starting to take some chances. Vegas has moved the ball pretty good in this half, but they don't have three points to show for it. Joey, you can see Joseph on that break. Man, he almost made that You play. make that comment about him being a playmaker. Coming into today, he led the league with three interceptions. Two of them picked sixes. So he will make a break on the ball. Third and eight. D.C. showing pressure again. Perez, quick throw outside. Matthew Sexton on the reception, and Sexton going to be just short of the first down. Anthony Hines, the third. And I think you go for this if you're Absolutely. Vegas. Yeah, you, you have to get something going. It's 14 to 3. Offense has moved the ball. I had a chance to score a lot of points, but this is a chance to make something All right, for here yourself. Tight in this right. Game. 34 Belly G. Tight right, 34 Belly G. So that jumbo package is in. DeAndre, Torrey, Rod Smith both in the backfield. Fourth and short. Torrey, plenty of space for the first down. Santos Ramirez comes up with the tackle in a gain of six. Had a nifty play call with the starting running back deep in the eye formation. But they give it to Torrey. Yeah, nice job by Torrey breaking it outside. And if you've watched games in this league in the first three weeks, a lot of those up the middle on 61 fourth and short have Trips been right, shut down. Rave. Nice job breaking that outside. Trips right, 61 read. So Brett Hundley started the game. 
I think, I think clock he's checking. Play clock at two. You heard Sherman say keep it on the play clock. Perez gets it off. Out of the backfield. It's Torrey again. And Torrey, but I tell you what, he'll get some yards when you give him an opportunity. 5'11", 197 pounds out of North Texas in a game of seven. There's the NFL rule. Knee down, you're not down until you get touched. Torrey does a nice job getting back up and gaining yards. Hybrid rules here in the XFL. One foot in, college rule. But the NFL rule down bubble, by Randy, contact. Randy. Bubble, bubble. Yes. Another hand signal, Matt. I'm on it. Second and three. Perez, play fake. Sexton sits right down in the middle of that defense. And that'll be a first down Vipers. This is a good response. And think about how good you have to be at these hand signals. Because we have so much access that these teams can go back, watch the game from last week of your opponent you're going to play. And because we have the access, they're getting to see these quarterbacks make the hand signals, make checks, make calls, and then match it up with what the team is doing. Think about how good they have to be in changing up their signals week by week so that the team don't know what they're going to do. It's a nice drive by Vegas. Rod Smith back in the backfield. Perez forced out of the pocket, takes a shot at the end zone. That was forced to Bidette. Falls incomplete and threw like Kelly on the coverage. I think Bidette just lost track of where his quarterback was. And sometimes you have a scrambling quarterback and plays take a long time. But that thinking he's not the primary receiver in this situation just doesn't look back for the ball. The Bear Snake. Look at this guy right above the Bear Snake. Yeah, these two guys are ready. Look at this guy. Kill it. Yeah. <laughs> How about the hat? Ted Lemons on his hat. <laughs> Conflicted. Conflicted individual. Ninth play of the drive. Bidet. Big hit defensively. And a game of two. Bidet was injured on that play after a gain of two. He's straight. Fuck. Oh, no, no, knee. Hey. All right, so good news, but that coming off, we'll be right back. Tonight, Craig Williams, defensive coordinator for DC, faced him five times. Here's my favorite one. Galloway and Barlow both wore number 84 for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You'd be amazed at how many times you get a picture of someone else that someone wants you to sign because you wore the same number. And Reggie Barlow told us a great story about so that. So Barlow told us in our meetings this week at a fan fest here in DC, someone came up to him with the number 84 Tampa Bay Buccaneers to get an autograph for Barlow to sign. It happens all the time. It I, get, I get Ted Ginn Jr. to Ohio State a lot <laughs> because he wore number seven. Perez to the end zone. Enough of the Barlow stories incomplete. Sinque sweeting the indebted receiver in fourth and eight. Barlow to pay off the story was nice enough to let the fan know that has won Joseph Scott Galloway in that number 84 jersey, not me. And Vegas, an opportunity to score the touchdown comes up short. By inches. Just needs the one foot. You can see the left foot coming down on the line just by inches out of bounds and now they'll try for a field goal. 33 yard attempt by Giffen. Made one, missed one. Giffen up. Giffen good. So right now he keeps Giffen the Vipers an opportunity. <laughs> 14-6. to that's, six. that's not your best work. Matt Barry, Joey Galloway with you here in D.C. It is funny, though, because at the outset of the season, because you had, a, I think, a 16-year NFL career. Yeah. So 16-year NFL career. I said in one of our meetings, I said, I would bet you that Joey Galloway can be connected, kind of a six degrees of Kevin Bacon situation, connected to someone on every team. So far, we're in week four. By my math, four times two equals eight. We're eight for eight. Yeah, and a few times it's been defensive coordinators. I got to go back and look and see if they shut me down or if I put some yards on them. And uh, fortunately for me, I've had some success against these guys so far this season. The best part with Galloway when it's a defensive coordinator, 
He'll text me the defensive coordinator and immediately after his statistics against said defensive coordinator, when we went up against Wade Phillips, he's like, dude, I went for five for 105 and two touchdowns. Let's go, Wade. Wade. Hey, it's hard to find stats from that long ago, to be honest with you. It's a lot of work to put into that. No, nope, Galloway didn't play in the Google era, which is all you need to know about how old he is. Kick return from the 10, slips and falls shy of the 25. Catch the first three episodes of the nine-part docu-series, Player 54, Chasing the XFL Dream on ESPN+. Plus. Episode three available now features the Vipers' Martavis Bryant, who continues his pursuits back to the NFL, while teammate and police officer Sean Price finds the common ground between his careers. To get ESPN+, Plus, go to ESPNplus.com or download the ESPN app. A look at the teams, the North Division and the South Division, Seattle, St. Louis, Vegas, and D.C. down south. Three teams in the great state of Texas, Houston, San Antonio, Arlington, and then Orlando. Reichwell Armstead in the backfield now, XFL's top rushing unit. Leron Stokes brings him down after a gain of three. You talk about those divisions in the South, Houston's 4-0, and, and they're leading the South. Just like in the in the north, DC is 3-0 trying to get to 4-0 tonight. Playoff hey. format, top two teams hey. from each division playing the semis. Are you ready? Back up. Second and seven. Armstead again. Right. Texas bunch right. Zach, 71, all squirrels. Zach, 71, all squirrels. Texas bunch right. Zach, 71, all squirrels. Nickel mug, 58. Nickel mug, 58. Nickel mug, 58. 71, 71. 71. Check down middle. Watch him. Watch him. Here we go. All the way out, all the way out. Ready, ready. There it comes. Third and three. Vegas backs off the pressure to Amu. Quick out. It is dropped. Josh Malone can't hang on. And Vegas has forced a punt. And that was all squirrel, so they ran all quick outs. Should have been an easy completion. Don't complete it. Vegas now gets the ball back. They're only down eight in this situation, and it hasn't felt like this game has gone in their direction, but they're getting the ball back. Three minutes left in the first half, so Vegas has a chance here if they can make a couple plays. When they've been able to move the ball, if they can just punch one into the end zone, we have a different game going to halftime. It looks as if Vegas is going to have to use their second timeout. Second charge timeout. Vegas, 30 seconds. This is the first three and out by either team, and Joey, the first punt by either team. Yeah, man, I don't know if you paid attention to those hot dogs that just came up the, up the steps. This venue, as far as uh, game goes, I mean, besides the beer snake, give these fans a lot of credit coming out here in this weather, number one. It's raining, it's, it's below 40, but the food, I mean, oh, you're I'm, talking I'm, like actual I'm, hot I'm talking dogs. about the actual food in this stadium? Yeah. I'm hungry. What's your rule? So for those of you who don't know this, I spent 16 hours a Saturday with Galloway, so his food habits are very peculiar. What do you put on a hot dog? I'm going ketchup, mustard, and onions. You put ketchup on a hot dog. I and knew it. mustard I and knew onions. It. Let's I go. It. I knew you were a ketchup guy on a hot dog. Wheel in the punt. Sinquay Sweeting, situated in his 22, keeps his feet, then he loses them. I got mad at Gray Poupon on his hot dog. I, he's one of those guys that go like no. a designer type of mustard. No, 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 no. Mustard relish. That's my hot dog. What kind of mustard? Yellow. Gray Poupon. Now, Gray Poupon on a hot dog doesn't work. <laughs> That's his reaction to your catch up on yeah, the Yeah, and, and Woodson has done some punt returns. He, he knows when you've got those opportunities, you've got to make a play. No, no catch up, guaranteed. Man, I'm going down at halftime. I know McLean's hungry. You know, it's funny, too, because Joey talked about the fans brave of the weather. Thank you, D.C. fans, for all of your support of the XFL. One of the best XFL cities. You couldn't get Galloway out of the booth. He wouldn't go down. Not a chance I was going down. Did you see what McLean is wearing? That is not weather for me to go out, go outside. See if Vegas and Perez can get something going. That's a nice start on first down. Bellamy on the tackle at a gain of eight.
So Vegas, again, offensively tonight, 152 total Turn yards. Up. That's Turn more up. than D.C. Can they close this gap with under three to play in the second quarter? Ball at the 35. Bedette loses the ball. And he was able to fall back on it. Right place, right time. Falls on it at the 30. Have another look at this, Joey. He was fortunate to get this back. He really was. And again, it's chilly out here. It rained some. The rain has stopped. You can see it's still a little drizzle coming down. But wet conditions is tough to hold into that ball sometimes. Remember, Vegas turned it over on the first play of the game, led to DC's first touchdown. So a third and eight here with two-minute warning coming up. And a flag on the play. That's going to be a delay of game. Delay of game. game. Offense, five-yard penalty, third down. And, Joey, when you're trying to get your first win of the season, you've got one timeout left, and you're just north the two-minute warning. You cannot have that in a third Yeah, minute. you just fumbled the ball. You lost a few yards, and now you have this, which is, you know, you fumbled the ball, so you had time to come back to it. You had time to get this play call in. That's the kind of stuff that drives coaches nuts. So, again, Brad Hundley, starting quarterback, was pulled after the first couple of series, standing there next to Ray Sherman. Oh. So the two-minute warning here in D.C., Vegas with the ball third and long when we come back. Look at the talent of this guy. We have an addition being built on the beer snake. I kind of think it's cheating. <laughs> the fans cheering him on as he goes by. Oh, oh, almost lost it. These guys Hold cheering on. him on. Yeah, the front row. Hold on. 17 saying you're just a little further. Let's go. We do have a code of conduct for the beer snake. There, this is the thing. No cups may be thrown from within the section. All cups must be packed to the location of the snake. So that guy was within beer snake protocol. Third and long, Perez gets out of pressure, looks downfield, can love it, make a couple of defenders Ooh. miss. Not <laughs> enough for the first down, and Kelly got that reaction. Yeah, that's that playing Joey. football right there. That is playing football. You need one more yard to get a first down, and you got the defender staring you down, coming right at you. Go for it. They're going to go for it. Look at these guys. Just like the beer snakes going for it. Look at this. They're going to extend it. We did it. America, we did it. So they've already converted on a fourth and one. Play clock down to four. One timeout remaining. Play clock down. One. Perez, snap. Vegas converts. And a first down. And that look, when you haven't gotten a win all season, Joey, those are things and opportunities you take advantage of. That was love it. Getting I the first love down. the play call. I love being aggressive in this situation if you're Vegas. And I've mentioned they haven't been great. Nobody in this league has been great running between tackles on these short plays. And this was Vegas just being way more physical than the D.C. defense. So first and 10, one timeout. Vegas has to be mindful of the clock. Under a minute. Perez, time, climbs the pocket. Wide open, Martavis Bryant. Let's go even right, 60, steamer choice. Even right, 60, steamer choice. Clock a factor, gain of 17. Everyone set. Perez again. Oh, Ooh, what, what a, a throw. What a pass to Brandon Dillon. I mean, Joe, there was about a cup size of beer snake he could fit that into, and he did so perfectly. Yeah, Perez has not missed a beat coming off the bench. We mentioned Huntley started this game. Perez comes off the bench throwing the ball, and that's about as good of a throw as you'll see all season long. And this clock management by Vegas. They're using their third and final timeout. So we had talked about it at the beginning of the broadcast. Vegas, kind of an interesting stat, being 0-3. They've led every halftime this season. They've never trailed. They were tied at one point, but they're 0-3. Conversely, D.C., they've been ahead at every halftime. They've never been trailed. Oh, they've trailed at every halftime. They're 3-0. Yeah, when Vegas goes into the locker room, regardless of what happens on this drive, they'll look back at the way they started this game, 
fumbling the football. They'll look at Bidette fumbling a football late. They'll look at penalties that they've had, and they'll go back and think, we're better than the scoreboard is saying right now, and that's what it's been all season for Vegas. They've had chances to win games, hadn't been able to do it. Got to learn to win a football game, and right now, Vegas didn't start great for him behind Luis Perez. You see Brett Hundley started at quarterback. First and ten, no timeouts. Have to be mindful of taking a sack right here in the field to stay at least within field goal range on first and ten. Perez over the middle. It's going to have to be quick. That's 86, Brandon Dillon. Vegas going to have to hurry to the ball as the clock ticks to 20. So Perez going to clock it with 16 seconds remaining. All right, so Joey, 16 seconds left, second and two. What's the what's the design here? What are you doing here? No timeouts. Well, I think we go to third down. He clocked it on second. Right, we're gonna so now go, we go to third. We're gonna go even right salt, A flat, Y hammer. Even right, 51 salt, A flat, Y hammer. Correct. So they clocked it on right. second, third and two. Can't take a sack. Yep. And you're in a situation here where you want to get a first down, but if you do and it balls inbound, you better get up on it, clock it once again, and take a couple shots for the end zone. Flag on the play. Quick shot. That's Bedette. We'll see what the penalty is. It's going to be enough for a first down a and a gain of six. Offside, defense number six. That penalty's declined. Results of the play is a first down. It's the doll Brown. The next play will start on the snap. So it's going to be first down. Heard of the clock's going to start. Yeah, in this on situation, you might take the penalty so that the clock doesn't start when you when you when you get lined up. So, so he's saying it's going it's going to start on the snap. Okay, so we're, they're good here. So they got a couple shots here. Eleven seconds. You got a couple shots at the end zone. First and goal, Vegas. Perez can't take a sack. Perez for the score. Touchdown, Vegas. This one's going to be close. Ruled a touchdown on the field. Jeff, we're under review. Command center review. Command center review. Command center review, command center review. Give, give me the clock, six seconds. Okay. Jeff, okay, Jeff, I've got him down short of the goal line, half yard line. They're at it, go ahead. It, we're going to a running clock, we're gonna run 10 and end the half, okay? So, so after review, the runner was down, ball short of the goal line by rule. We have a 10 second runoff in the half the length. Right. Yeah, because we're going to stop it short. The ball is stopped short. The half is over. You can't stop it. After further review, the runner was stopped short of the goal line. By rule, a 10 second runoff applies. Therefore, it's the half. End of the half. Unbelievable. And Rod Woodson has a reason to be upset. Yeah, I got to get. There's five seconds left. Why not spot it in this situation? Let's bring in Dean Blandino and ask him. Dean, you can help us out with this. Yeah, so this is the rule. This is the same rule in college, the same rule in the NFL. When you overturn the ball on the field to a running clock in the last two minutes, that carries a 10-second runoff. The theory is, if the ruling on the field was correct, they would not have had a chance to get the ball the ball snapped. So by rule, it does carry a 10-second runoff. All right, so you're saying that if the official makes the correct call, so help me. The under clock would continue to run. So with five seconds left, but they couldn't the runner get it. was down, they, couldn't, they, they wouldn't have enough time to get the ball snapped. Understood. That, that's, that's the rule. So Correct. by time rules, this, that, and the other, if he says he's down, he's la basically laying on the ball. You're trying to pull the pot body pile off, and by then the clock's going to expire. Correct. They won't be able to get lined up. Okay. Well, Rod Woodson is just running hot. Yeah, I'm sure I'll talk to Coach Woodson <laughs> soon after the game.
Yeah, I'm gonna stay out of this one. Cause I, I agree with Joey. That. I, I don't want to. You, you put ketchup on your hot dogs. Uh, I there you go. Look, see, I you can't trust ketchup with guys. Coach Woodson right now. I don't. Why? Dean's right. There's no way you're getting a playoff in five seconds. Why not? If the offic if he's down, mm -hmm. and he's tackled, yep. five, four. You're telling me the offense is gonna get lined I'm, up. Yeah. With no what timeouts. I'm, what I'm telling you is, in a shorter play, I mean, it was a few yard run. Yes, I think they can spot it and get ready to play. I mean, it, we're going to talk about this. God, it is so close. Wow. What a moment. Halftime here in D.C. Let's go into our chambers review. and all agree. I'm going to get catch up on my hot dog right now. <laughs> DC the ball already in the red zone and they punch it in. Vegas is right there. They're close in this game. Yep. They had the ball at the end. If they get in the end zone, once again, they have a chance to go for two and tie this game up. That's how narrow these margins are yep. in, in football in general in this XFL because of the different extra points and different rules. Vegas is right there. It's close. They just can't find a way to get over the top. Matt Barry, Joey Galloway back with you at Audi Field here in DC, one of the great atmospheres in the XFL. Very controversial end of the first half. For more on that from the Vegas perspective, down to Eric McLean. Yeah, guys, Coach Woodson very upset, visibly upset, and in the locker room just yelling at his guys saying, they can't keep doing this to us. They can't keep doing this to us. Exactly, Joey, what you just said, the little things adding up. Some of that not in Vegas' control. Look for them to really rally back as a team. That unit close together right there. Yeah, and, and Eric, you were there. What was he more ticked off about? the runoff or the t no touchdown no he thought that they scored and uh, as Vegas on cue gets the ball right back let's yeah. go how about ball don't lie Vegas recovers the opening <laughs> kickoff in the second half that's exactly what players are saying the they're ball gonna say ball don't lie, don't lie. Yep. That's, it's yep. it. that is the ball letting us know that we were supposed to have the ball here with one more play wow Travis Coons on a recovery and that's not even, that that lets you know what the weather has been like. When you start to drop balls like that, uh, like the one that Bedet put on the ground, that's the kind of things that happens in this weather. It's moist out here, it's below 40 degrees, it's tough to hang on to the ball. You know, and Joe, it, look, Vegas now comes into this half, maybe with that us against the world mentality because of how the first half ended. It's gonna be interesting to watch how they come out here. Perez at quarterback, Hunley started. Rod Smith in the backfield, and that's Smith on first down. Did a good job by D.C., led by Joe Wallace. And Vegas is also used to going into the locker room with a lead. This time, they're behind. And so, in the locker room, there's a different feeling, a, a different way to coach this team. We're behind. Things are going against us. Let's go out here and take it back. Joe, I'll give you this, though. They missed a field goal. That's three points yep. to make it nine. They think they've got a touchdown to end the half. So, they, theoretically, with, with the mistakes and the missed field goal, they could be leading this game. Second and eight, Rod Smith, big hit by D.C. That's Anthula Kelly, who called his name quite a bit. What a play. 30, 30, 30, 30 pay attention. Yo, yo. 30, Jack's the back, swing. single press. Jack's the back, single press. Hey, son, you got the next. Heard a single press. It's a single high safety in the middle of the field, and then everyone else is up and press. And he he signified who's going to cover the back out the backfield. Can Vegas take advantage of the turnover to start the half? Play clock down to two. Play clock down to one. Didn't look like he was ready for the snap. Corrals it, but Det catches it. Kelly forces him out. He's going to be short, but we've already seen Vegas go for it twice on fourth down and get it. And they're definitely going for this one. And, and it's the right call. I got to say, these these D.C. Uh, defensive backs come up well. Come up well and make plays and make tackles and forcing Vegas into some of these fourth and shorts because they tackle so well on the back end. Joey, to what I was saying earlier, Vegas has five possessions, two field goals, a missed field goal, a fumble, and then that situation at halftime. This game very evenly played out here on fourth down. Rod Smith in the backfield. He set back. Torrey up front. Torrey gets it up front. Torrey's going to be stopped short. Man, I mentioned, I'm telling you, that the, between the tackles on fourth and one in this league, early on in the first three weeks of the season, teams have gotten stopped a lot trying to go between the tackles. And you see D.C. right here fires out and makes a terrific play in the backfield. Fadal Brown was the man there. He tries to escape it. It worked earlier. 
in Las Vegas when they needed a break. They got one Let's and go! couldn't take advantage. Let's go! Vegas now six possessions, six points, no punts. So Ta'amu takes over at the 18, first down for them, keeps it off the left side. Ta'amu has all day to run. How's that for a first down chunk? Gain of 49. And just like that, Vegas has the ball, trying to go in the score. You get a fourth down stop, and now a big run. 22, 22. And once again, all the momentum is with DC. Great play fake, and Ta'amu down the field, and it's just a foot race. I mean, he was untouched for 49. Ta'amu pulls it over the middle, incomplete. Intended for Lucky Jackson. Man, that's really good coverage by Keelan Kennedy. A uh, slant, which looked like it's going to be there early on, and then Kennedy makes a nice break and makes it a tough play to make by cutting in front of the receiver. Just 40 yards rushing for D.C. in the first half. 49 on that play. Big 97, LeRon Stokes may have gotten hit a little bit, tipped that pass a little bit. Ready, ready. Go. On second down, Ta'amu. Time over the middle, dropped. Abram Smith tried to get the first down before he possessed the ball. That brings up third down. Spread right, spread right. Yellow, rocket. Yellow, rocket. Alert check down again. Be smart. Here we go, here we go. Ready, ready. There go. Third and ten. Good throw, good catch. First down, Chris Blair. Gain of 13. Lady, lady, lady. Lady, lady, lady. Let's go, let's go. Quality lady, lady. hands there by Blair. Roger, Roger, Roger. Ready, ready. There go. Vegas showing pressure. Quick out by Tamu. Josh Hammond makes the catch, makes the defender miss. He's going to pick up four. Brought down by P.J. Dawson. Back to that point. 16, Gucci. Five, 16, Gucci, five. Let's go, let's go. 16, Gucci. Here we go, here we go. Ready, ready. There go. Second and six. Tom who pulls it late. Marwin Evans on the tackle, just short of the first down. You heard the hits. Don't you love having that microphone on so you can actually hear what's going on inside of these hits? You see them, but now we can actually hear them. Yeah, take another listen. <laughs> so third and one. Here we go. Smith in the backfield. Ready, ready. There go. What a play <laughs> by play. Abram Smith to get away from it. That was Maximilian Roberts, and he's going to hold him short, and it's going to be fourth and short for D.C. And Roberts is third, is second in XFL in sacks. You can see him with the explosion of getting to the quarterback and the running back, almost <laughs> tackling both guys. He had the whole play red. So now D.C. going forward on fourth. 22 ball. Here we go. Ready, ready. There go. Smith. Space. First and goal, D.C. And a gain of five. And they're heading towards Beer Snake Alley. So you know they're going to play with that as long as they see, can. D.C. did something different there. They didn't get in a bunch. They didn't bring in a bunch of tight ends. They stayed in a normal looking set. And then they ran the ball 20 tackles, keeping things spread out. Vegas defender slow to get up. So the officials are going to use a timeout. 
and that's 23, Maximilian Roberts, who came up with that big play on third and short. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. What is it? So De'Aaron King, who scored a touchdown earlier, scored two touchdowns earlier, leads the XFL in rushing touchdowns. He's back in the game for Ta'amu. First and goal for King. Why not? King off the right side, patiently waiting his blocks, and that's a good job by Peter Tamopenu. Comes up with the tackle. Flex left, flex left. Flex left. 40, 46, 46 slants. Second and goal. Armstead in the backfield. Armstead gets it. Armstead moving his legs and he's gonna be held short. CJ Avery there on the tackle. Now third and goal. Here we go. Flex left queen. Flex left, Queen. Flex left, Queen. Flex left, Flex left. The quick tight on the left. Flex left. Sonic 16. Sonic. Coke time now, Coach. Yes, let's do it. First charge timeout, DC. Do you ever wonder what leads to a timeout late in the play clock? You just heard it here live on an XFL broadcast. We'll step aside. These Don't leave this marker room if no, you're no. not ready to jump on these guys now. No, no. All right? Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We finish this game and we go home victorious. Yes, you got that? Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Man. Let's go. Let's go. the half, both Reggie Barlow, Rod Woodson talking to their teams. Saw Woodson prior to going into the locker room. His defense now, third and goal, needs to come up big. De'Aaron King out of the shotgun. Armstead ride white. And King stopped Robert Windsor. And how about that? Now fourth and goal. King. Go, go! Field goal, field goal, field goal, field goal, Reggie Barlow wants field points. Field Remember, 49 yards on that first play by Ta'amu. Fans not happy. 32 after Fans that. Not happy. This is the right call. This is the right call. You're up eight. Make it a two-score game. I'd like to think they're booing because something happened in the Beer Snake Alley. Not the coach. McCrane. Field goal. Good. How about you, Joey, with the, with the sensible, you got fit to cuff down there and, well, maybe just join. You you gotta be careful with fist to cuffs after last week. On a field goal, nobody fights on a field goal. The kickers, kickers get fired up. You would know. Kickers are people too. Yeah, you, you would, <laughs> you would have a good I idea. I mean, you're telling me the only guy in long sleeves is not starting stuff tonight? Nah, he's not gonna start it. Here's McCrane's 5'11", 180 of pure brute out of Kansas State. Tiffany? Hey guys, with Coach Barlow. Coach, can you tell me what went to, into that decision to kick the field goal? Uh, I would say analytics, but I'll be joking if I said that. It was just really, uh, it'll take them two touchdowns. Uh, so we went for the field goal. Uh, obviously, we had our opportunities there on offense. We didn't get it done. Uh, so we went for the three points. Thanks, Coach. I love that he just like, you know what? I could tell you got an analytics yeah, guy. It's not two touchdowns that. though. With with the scoring rules that we have. It's still two touchdowns. It's not two touchdowns. And they're gonna have to score two yeah, touchdowns. You score a touchdown, you get a three-point conversion, and you That's kick nine. a field goal. There you go. Wow, you're on it. Uh, hey, man, math. Hey, man, I went to Ohio State. I was gonna we say do that. math. Let's go. The Ohio State. Yeah. I would bet flag on the play. 
What was the over-under of classes you actually went to while in Ohio State? Every last one of them. <laughs> All of them. Holding spots good. During return, holding. Receiving team, number 15. 10-yard penalty. First down. Don't miss any of XFL Week 5 action. Thursday night, Houston takes on Seattle, 1030 Eastern on ESPN. Danucci and the Sea Dragons start to play some good football Saturday night at FX. If the defenders facing St. Louis, 7 Eastern, Vipers host the Guardians. Finally on Sunday, Renegades against the Brahmas, 10 p.m. Eastern, ESPN 2, all four games also on ESPN. North Division right now, all D.C. and St. Louis. But can Perez and the Vipers pull off the upset? First down to the sideline. But Dat all over him and did not get a call. I'm not one to make calls from the booth, but it looked like he was being held. Yeah, you're not one to make one, but you're about to make one. I agree with you. It looks like that pass interference looks like he's being held. And once again, Vegas has that feel that they can't get a call, and I don't know what else you would have to do right there to get one. So they can challenge anything in the XFL. If they're wrong, they lose a timeout. Rod Woodson's going to relax not to use the challenge. Dean Blandino, hypothetically speaking, say Rod Woodson used the challenge, what would you have done? We would have made a defensive pass interference. The oh, defender really? wrapped up the receiver, got there early, so had coach challenge, we would have created the foul there. See, See now when you. I ask the question, Dean's like, I'll tell you after the game. Yeah, because I do You it, ask a I, question and he answers. I do it professionally. You've been badgering oh, Dean the wrong, all season. Yeah. Whatever. It's all in your approach. <laughs> Third and seven. That's going to be a false start on Vegas. Quintarius Eatman early. And another penalty on a third down. Prior to the snap, false start. Offense, number 77. Five-yard penalty, third down. You get the sense Vegas playing emotionally right now because of how the half ended. They moved down the field. They had. You've got to get something going here, Joe. Third and 12 with 520 left in the third. Yeah, and they're just making it tough on themselves with these kind of penalties. Still still upset over the not getting the pass interference call, which would have given them the first down. But that's that's tough when you start to get these pre-snap penalties. Perez, that's good quarterback, and it gets some yardage out of it. Love it. Couldn't get up field. It was a gain of 11, but after the penalty is not going to be enough. Brooks brings him down. Vegas going to have to punt. Once again, the tackling on the back end by the D.C. defensive backs, really good. They come up well, and they make tackles. As Karan Reed provided the pressure. Carasosa to punt. Jacquez Ezard, once considered the most dangerous man in the FCS, deep to receive the punt. See how dangerous he is at the 28. Makes a couple men miss. Gets to the outside, and that's good special teams play there by number 28, C.J. Avery. We in our nation's capital for some good Sunday night football. We're back here at Audi Field where the defenders lead at 17 to 6 over the Vipers. I'm standing here with DC defender linebacker Reggie Northrup. And Reggie, you've been all over in this game helping to make some key plays. What's been going for you tonight? Oh, man, just every week, man, we just want to up the ante on our opponents every chance we can. Our main motto tonight was kill a mosquito with a sledgehammer. So that's the, that's the level of emphasis we putting in and going all out on our effort and our intensity today in this game and just showing, imposing our will on all our opponents every week. So that's our main focus. We're going to finish this game strong. We've got to keep our foot on the gas and keep going until that clock hits zero. Intensity is something you know about all too well. When you're not playing football, you're in the ring. You're oh, yeah. fighting in the MMA. How much does having that skill set of being in the ring, and we got a big player right there, Matt. How much does being in the ring and maybe the technique you use there, how do you apply that to football? Oh, yeah, uh, greatly. Uh, hand movement, center of gravity, 
balance, explosiveness out the hips and power, you know, with, when it comes to wrestling and stuff like that. So all those different things, they all transition into football. It's been helping me on both sides. Football's helped me with my MMA fight game, and then MMA has helped me with some football, some of my football skill set too. Um, I always just strive to get better on every little thing I can. Thanks so much, man. No problem. All right, let's get you caught up, Tiffany. Great stuff, thank you. Pass interference on the big play. Rod's probably thinking we also had a pass interference, but he could have challenged it. Another flag on the play. Abram Smith off the right side. Taumo Apenu on the tackle for now. Another 78 at offense, not on line scrimmage. Illegal formation. Illegal formation. Offense. Five yard penalty. First down. All right, so do a little bit of housekeeping for you. The big play was a big reception. There was pass interference on the play. They declined it because it was ruled a catch in possession. They took the yardage from the catch. That one, false start on DC, so it backs them up five yards first and 15. Now back to our regular scheduled program. Abram Smith off the right side, trying to snake his way through there, couldn't. Evans, man, he's at it. He's had been all over the football field tonight. There's nothing there. Loss of two. Joey, the live line is now 15 how and a much, half. How about how much the line the line has moved? It started at six. It closed at six. And then jumped to 11 and a half. Then went back below 10. And now it's at 15 and a half. Point total at 38 and a hook. Second and 17, low snap for Ta'amu. Over the middle, dropped. Intended for Armstead. There's been three or four drops by DC in this game, or their offense would actually be moving a little better than it has. They've right, had let's a go, couple let's go, let's go. crucial right, right, drops. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ready, ready, set, go. Flag down, free play for Ta'amu, end zone. It's picked off by Keelan Kennedy, but he dropped it. He had it in his hands. I'm not sure it's going to matter. in a neutral zone at the snap. Number 23 in a neutral zone. Neutral zone infraction. Defense, number 23. Five-yard penalty. Third down. It's Maximilian Roberts. And I bet Kennedy knew that. I think he knew, eh, we're offsides. Doesn't really matter if I catch this ball or not. Ready, ready, set, go. I think I can get a waiver to shorten it to just Max Roberts. I've called him Maximilian a few times. Given name's been respected. Ready, ready, 